Hey guys, have you ever had that problem where you're trying to use a vocal sample from a movie and the music is in the background so you can't hear the vocals clearly? Well, Cubist 12 has an awesome way to get uh, to deal with this and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys spectral layers from uh, its built-in thing in Cubase 12. And so the, what we're trying to do here is, I'll show you this sample that I've got. It's, um... It would have been a good idea if we hadn't drunk the fucking water. No, that might have aroused suspicion. But don't... So, it's, uh, this is from a movie. It's uh, the men staring at goats. They're talking about they put acid in the water and they drank it too. Um, I was looking for goat samples and came upon this. And anyways, um, if I wanted to use this, if we just listen over the kick and bass, uh, you know, I don't have just a little demo track here with just starting something new. Don't worry, over the years, I've developed. It would have been a good idea if we hadn't drunk the fucking water. <laughs> so you could hear that there's the music in the background is interfering with us being able to hear the, the words clearly. And, you know, if you get samples from, let's say, uh, interviews of people or other things where it's just one person talking, you know, you'll hear their voice very clearly. Um, but movies are great places, or TV, the great places to get um, samples from. You know, it's scripted, so a lot of times, you know, the you know, people aren't speaking off the cuff, like in an interview. So you get things that are really, you know, they work well, they're, they're cool things. And, you know, you get all times, I mean, it's more inventive to, or, you know, all kinds of stuff. So you want to use samples from TV and movies, but there's stuff in the background. There's noise, sound effects. Uh, music is really the biggest one that a lot of times there's just music in the background. And we don't want that. We just want to get the vocals clearly. So there's lots of ways that you could, that I've gone about this in the past, trying to clean them up. You know, you can use different tools that kind of, you know, like even just an EQ, you know, to carve out some things. But the problem is, is that everything's overlapping. And what we really want to do is just isolate the vocals. And this um, Spectral Layers tool in Cubase 12 allows you to do that extremely easily. So let's let's go ahead and try. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go, it's up, like we just click on the audio. So it's selected, go to project and, um, sorry, audio extensions, spectral layers. So if we go ahead and open that, now what we see is this window down here. And so if you guys have ever seen spectral analyzers before, this is what it is. And so it's just, um, another way of visualizing, um, the, uh, sound, but, this, because it's so detailed in here, that this program can go in and pinpoint um, which d different elements of the thing. So it's used basically for, um, it, they made it for songs, I guess, um, but it works perfectly for our purposes as well. So if we go up here to layer and hit unmix stems, you're going to see right here that it shows vocals, piano, bass, drums, other and non-destructive, so we're not going to destroy it, and clean, but we're just going to leave it there, and then we can choose between them. Um, so in this case, you know, we don't, we, we just want two groups. We want everything and vocals. So if we just unclick these, it'll just make one big group um, with everything else. And then we have our vocals selected. And so then the one thing that you can do here, the only really control it has is the sensitivity, and you're going to have to play with that um, you know, to uh, to kind of know how how much sensitivity you need, you can just start out, um, you know, in the middle, and then some, and then if you, you know, it doesn't come out cleanly, you can try more or less um, sensitivity. I'm just going to give a little bit up to like 0 0.3 here, um, and now we're going to hit okay. So it takes a second to think. And it's going to take longer for bigger um, bigger things, but so now here it has now instead it has separated them into colors. And if we look over here, we have vocals in one group and then piano and drums and everything else. So now I'm going to solo this and we're going to listen. No, have my so that's everything together. Aroused suspicion. Now let's, I'm going to just mute the vocals so you can hear what it has pulled out, right? So this blue is all of the background sounds. And you see really how it can do this with the spectral, um, with the spectral analyzer, you know, the you can get in there and you can see which is which. So that's what it's done. And so if we mute the vocals and we just hear the music, right? And there's a little artifacts there, but it's okay. So that's our that's what it's pulled out. So now if we mute that, it leaves us with just the vocals. But don't worry over the years. No, that might have 
Aroused this drunk the fucking water. Oh, there we go. My aroused. So there's a little bit of weird artifacts in there, but the thing is, is once you put that over the track, you know, and you have your kick and bass, you have your other things going on, um, other sounds in there, you're not going to notice this at all. And you will notice that it is much, much clearer. And, you know, then if you want to add effects to it, like you wanted to add something to make the voice change, like um, uh, Discord or something, um, and if we wanted to add our uh, a delay or something, right? So I'm just gonna try that. Like, let's you know here now. Oh, suspicious, suspicious. But don't worry, don't worry over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over the let's take. Yeah, yeah, just like a little something. Drunk the fucking water. Okay, yeah. right. So now, if I put if we put that effect on, and there's everything in here. No, I have my You see, we can't really get there to do the cool stuff with the vocals and with the delay. Drunk the fucking water. Because the music's all messing it up, right? But now we we'll just mute that again, and now. Arouse suspicion. Drunk the fucking water. Arouse suspicion. But don't worry, over the years I developed a massive tolerance. Okay. So now let's put it. With, let's all unmute the stuff and let's hear how clean it is. So again, now I'm just gonna play it again, just so you can hear one more time. We drunk the fucking water, right? And then arouse this bitch. There you go. But don't worry. So this is a super easy way, quick, fast, simple, to extract the vocals from um, the background noise and music in a TV show or anywhere that you're getting samples from, movies, things like that. So that's the process. Uh, if you're a Cubase user, enjoy. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more content soon. Thank you.